So number two then from the 2009 higher paper two, functions of functions. Here, here we have the two functions. Nice easy one this time. There are no fractions involved in this. And it simply says for part A, find these two functions, which is just them either way around. Well, first of all, P of X equal to F of G of X. Well, what does G of X do to whatever it gets hold of? It will give you X squared minus 2 if you put an X into it. What does F do to anything it gets hold of? Now this time you have to think, what does it do to what it's got hold of? What does it do to the content of this bracket? It will do 3 times the content. So it will do 3 times the bracket plus 1. And that was actually an X squared plus 2 minus 2 that you fed into it. So it's going to produce 3X squared minus 6 plus 1 minus 5. What about Q of X? The other way around, what's G of F of X? Well, that'll be G acting on what F of X produces. Put X into F and it will give you a 3X plus 1. And then whatever you put into G, it'll take that and square it. So the content of this bracket will be getting squared. So this bracket will be getting squared and then 2 subtracted. So square the bracket, square the first, 3X times 3X, 9X squared. Square the last, plus 1. Twice the product, the product is 1 times 3x is 3x, doubled, plus 6x. Unfortunately, I have to go with minus 2, so I'm going to have to write it all again. 9x squared, plus 6x, minus 1. Then part B, solve p dash dx, that's the first derivative of p, equals q dash dx, the derivative of q. Well, p dash dx, that should be easy enough. Multiply by the power, take one off the power, the constant term doesn't produce anything. Q dashed x, multiply by the power, that's 18x, and I've got a linear term, so plus 6. And if those two things are meant to be equal to each other, if P dashed x equals Q dashed x, that means that 6x is equal to 18x plus 6. I'd rather write that the other way around though, because you can see in advance I'm going to have negatives the other way. So 18 18x plus 6 will equal 6x. Bring the 6x over will give me 12x equals negative 6. So x will be divided by 12, x will equal negative a half.